stood by us in our good times and bad. Yes, the storm was strong, but not strong enough to break our fortitude. Today, in the aftermath of this terrible cyclone and this ongoing pandemic, the world might seem like it's crashing down upon us. But we will not give up. Let's face this boldly together. And we shall all smile again. Yes, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, tell out. Tell out. In this day and age of technology, sir, we are able to do so much. Mm -hmm. One person in Kolkata, I am in Mumbai. Thank you very much, Achin. Are we good? Congratulations, Venki, sir, and congratulations, Arubda, for uh, everything. And, uh, you know, uh, I feel bad we all couldn't be in person uh, to, uh, you know, ideally we would have been, uh, we would have liked to be right next to the van uh, flagging it off, you know, to express our genuine sentiments towards this issue. But uh, I can promise you one of the things that KKR has done is uh, for every six that is hit, uh, I think we plant a tree and uh, we have Andre Russell with us, so we'll make sure the 5,000 trees uh, are somehow put in place there for you. First of all, a uh, big thank you to all of you. Uh, Primarily, our chief guest, uh, Sri Arup Biswas. Thank you, sir, for taking the time to be with us. And our uh, fearless leader, skipper, DK Dinesh Karthik is here. And uh, you know, today is a, a bit of a, a special day for us in many different ways because we uh, always enjoy the partnership with uh, the government of West Bengal. And the people of Kolkata, the people of West Bengal, the kind of love and affection that we always get, the support we get from you, sir, and from uh, Didi, uh, is always uh, warm. And the goodwill that we have there is uh, amazing, which is what allows us to do what we do as KKR on the field and as a franchise. But uh, these have been difficult times, uh, challenging times in many different ways for all of us. Uh, the pandemic has affected the entire world and some parts more than the others. And uh, it's amazing to see the kind of uh, challenges that particularly the government in West Bengal has been uh, addressing and overcoming. And uh, on top of that, to sort of see the situation where uh, the cyclone also affected the city of Kolkata and the state, West Bengal was uh, was sort of gut-wrenching to see some of the images uh, but it is the resilience of the people there and the kind of effort that the government has put in uh, which has been amazing to see. So as KKR uh, on behalf of uh, the skipper and our entire team, uh, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan, Jay Mehta, Juhi Chabla, you know we are, we try to do whatever little we can because it's a big effort both to address the COVID situation as well as on top of that, the cyclone uh, devastation that was inflicted. Uh, so we are very, very happy to have been able to make a small uh, difference and join hands with the people of uh, Kolkata and West Bengal and the government, of course, who have been doing an amazing job. So uh, this is a little bit of that uh, effort, sir, to sort of thank you for the partnership and thank you for all the great work that you've been doing and at the same time to recognize uh, our partners and the team which feels very strongly uh, towards uh, what has happened there and uh, so from that perspective I just wanted to thank you for taking the time and uh, uh, we are going to request you to say a few words but Achin before that we are going into are we going to do uh, the the video first or are we going to yes, request yes, Okay, so we have the team has put together a small video of uh, particularly the recent Amphan and the devastation that was uh, inflicted down the city. So, for the benefit of everybody who is on the call, and thank you all, by the way, all the, the entire uh, community of uh, journalists and all our friends there who have joined. So, uh, DK, I'm going to request you to say a few words before we request uh, the minister. Uh, before that, you know, just your your sentiments towards uh, 
uh, what has happened and also overall our our uh, relationship with the people of Kolkata and, and West Bengal. Over to you, please. So at the outset, uh, a very good morning to all of you all who are here on the call. Uh, most importantly, the media people and Arup sir, thank you so much for taking out time to be here. And uh, you know, uh, basically, you know, the moment I entered KKR as a team, I realized what a big family it was. The, the support that the government gives us, and you know, more more importantly, we probably have the biggest sports sta cricket stadium uh, in in India right now. And to fill it up every time we play a cricket match is something special to us. So. We have a lot of affinity and love and affection towards the state of Calcutta. There is no doubt. Uh, you know, I have blood relations, and my own brother-in-law lives in Calcutta, uh, Saurav Bushel. So I personally have a you know connection with uh, Calcutta as well. And um, to see what the the world has gone through in these trying times, uh, and on top of that, to have a, a cyclone Ampan that has come and uh, really caused destruction is something that is very sad. Uh, a lot of initiatives are taken. You can see this beautiful van which will be going out there to help people and. Uh, you know, from our, from our side, I think we are all there to help you, and uh, we're more than happy to be part of uh, you know doing whatever little that we can to uh, bring a few smiles to a lot of people around there. Uh, thanks a lot on behalf of uh, Team KKR and uh, you know everybody that's involved with KKR. Thanks a lot for being there for us through so many years, and we're really privileged to have a state like uh, Kolkata supporting us through and throughout. Thank you very much, DK. Really appreciate that, sir. Uh, what we have done, just to, uh, you know it already, but just for the benefit of, uh, of the group, when first of all COVID happened, we were very concerned about uh, the Im impact it has, it has already had, and we were thinking about how we can <laughs> contribute. And uh, so there are two areas in which we, we maintained our focus, two, three areas in fact, and uh, you know, Mr. Mr. SRK was directly involved in it, Juhi, Jay, and the entire team of KKR. And one was to strengthen the hands of uh, the Chief Minister in terms of uh, all the work that is needed and the resources that are needed. So, in our own way, we made, we made that contribution to the Chief Minister's relief fund. And in addition to that, we realized that uh, PPE kits are most important for the frontline workers so uh, trying to facilitate some of those things that were done and a lot of people who were struggling uh, in terms of even basic things like food and being able to have a, a decent meal so there were uh, partnerships that we made with the ngos to go out and, uh, and and help in that regard and just on the heels of that just as uh, you know the little bit everyone limping back to some level of normalcy suddenly the cyclone hits and then immediately the team swung into action and basically said we have to contribute that's the first thought once again you know trying to strengthen the hands of uh, yourself your the government didi of course in terms of being helped financially with and the thing that affected us the most was just some of the pictures, seeing those pictures. Hopefully the video will work uh, with the audio, you'll be able to see. But when we saw pictures of the number of trees, the beautiful city like Kolkata and the number of trees, there was an estimate that there were nearly 5,000 trees that, uh, that fell. The, that's the impact that uh, the cyclone had. As you know, Juhi in particular has been a champion of uh, all the eco-friendly initiatives that we do and every season. We plant trees every six that is scored in Eden Gardens. We plant trees. But this time she gave us a direction and she basically gave us a diktat saying that how many of the trees have fallen in Kolkata? We have to plant as many trees in Calcutta. So the team uh, teamed up with an NGO. And uh, you know, since the estimate was 5,000 trees, we say over a period of time, we will, KKR will uh, ensure that 5,000 trees are planted in the city to replace, I mean, you can't literally replace, but at least to ensure that we are able to replenish in uh, different ways. And what you're seeing on that image there, sir, is a, is a van uh, which has been created and taking guidance from you and the government. It seems like the city of Kolkata has already very quickly come back into full swing because of the resilience. But at the same time, there are many uh, outskirts, districts, that uh, people need help on. So there are, there are food uh, hampers, food bags that have been created. 
and uh, we this van will go around to all the places where people are in most need and be able to supply some basic uh, things that are already in the bag uh, that 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 are essentials for people so in a small way this is a this is uh, this has been our effort to contribute so i just wanted to recap it for you and with your support and blessings we have been able to do it so i will request you to say a few words sir and uh, then after you finish then we'll uh, uh, we'll flag off this van as well with your support namaskar uh, good afternoon everybody good afternoon binkar ji and good afternoon our captain dinesh karti i am really thankful to kolkata night riders they are not only the two times champions of ipl they are also the team of kolkata as well as bengal they are always by the side of the people of the country as well as the people of bengal in recent days bengal is fighting against two calamities one is corona pandemic covid 19 and another is super cyclone amphan but we are fighting under the leadership of our respected chief minister Mamta Banerjee, the Bhatsha Khan means King Khan. The Grand Ambassador of Bengal, Mr. Shahrukh Khan, is always ready to perform his brother's duty for his beloved Didi Mamta Banerjee. He is doing his level best to help the people of Bengal as well as for the country. Calcutta Night Riders, also with the Meer Foundation, had announced several initiatives. to support the ongoing efforts of the government of west bengal to battle the aftermath of amphan today they are launching the kkr shayata bahan provided essential food items hygienic products like chlorine tablets soap and so many things among the people of the worst hit areas of kolkata north chobish porgona south chobish porgona and purva mednipur the, the, the kkr team is real champion of their social service during the world pandemic covid 19 and the super cyclone amphan we are truly proud to be the part of the flag of ceremony as well as the member of team kkr thank you very kind of you sir thank you for those words and uh, the support as well that you always extend so achin should we go with the flagging off or is the video by chance ready yeah, to be uh, played let me try to play it again okay if yeah. that video with audio is there then we can play it it's only 2 yeah. minutes yeah. then we can do the flagging off sir uh, have stood by us in our good times and bad yes the storm was strong but not strong enough to break our fortitude today in the aftermath of this terrible cyclone and this ongoing pandemic the world might seem like it's crashing down upon us but we will not give up we Let's face this boldly together, and we shall all smile again. Glad it. Uh... it worked uh, as they say our our motto is always we shall overcome and in spite of some of the technical issues i'm glad that finally the video and the audio played because i think it was designed to ensure that it is uh, it is expressing our sentiments towards uh, you know what is going on there and ways in which we can morally and otherwise also uh, help 
in whichever way we can. Sir, I just want to mention to you that this is the effort of the entire team. We had a, all of them could not be featured in a short video, but uh, you know, Captain himself leading from the front, and uh, Owen Morgan from England, and Pat Cummins, and uh, Kuldeep Yadav, and Shubman Gill, uh, and the yeah, entire team. Be ready for the all, I'll be letting you know. Okay, they they were all completely expressing sentiment. So I I'm on behalf of all of them. And of course, the ownership and the, the broader KKR family expressing our uh, support in whichever way we can do things. And then, so we stand ready, sir. We stand by you, as you rightly put it. So anything that is needed, we are always very happy to, uh, to, to come forward. I know your time is very precious and you have many other pressing things to do. So, Achint, if we are ready, uh, I'm supposed to, I have, a, I have a KKR flag with me and in the presence of the, our chief guest, uh, Minister Arup Biswas, and our captain, do we flag this off? And then, um, you know, I, I know Mr. Arup Biswas has many other things to go to. Perhaps then DK and I can address some of the, the press questions. Or if you have the time, sir, you're welcome to stay as well. So I'll leave that entirely up to you. Jaiji. Yes, sir. Hello, Benji. Please, sir. Our motto. We always in overcome the every situation, tough situation. But our slogan is Lorbo Korbo Jidbo Re. We are always <laughs> the winner. We are the sir. Bengal is the winner. Thank you well very said. much. Well Thank said, you sir. very much. You people are supporting so much. Thank you very much. Very well said, sir. Very well said. So thank you, you for your time. Come. And yes, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, tell out. Tell out. In this day and age of technology, sir, we are able to do so much. Mm -hmm. One person in Kolkata, I'm in Mumbai. Thank you very much, Achin. Are we good? Congratulations, Venki, sir. And congratulations, Arubda, for uh, everything. And, uh, you know, uh, I feel bad we all couldn't be in person uh, to, uh, you know, ideally we would have been, uh, we would have liked to be right next to the van uh, flagging it off, you know, to express our genuine sentiments towards this issue. But, uh, I can promise you one of the things that KKR has done is for every six that is hit, uh, I think we plant a tree and uh, we have Andre Russell with us. So we'll make sure the 5,000 trees uh, are somehow put in place there for you. <laughs> yes. Yes. God willing, there will be, uh, that will also happen. But uh, I think more power to the people there and uh, to all of you for the God's work that you're doing. And uh, we, we look forward to uh, seeing you in person, hopefully soon, sir. So on that note, I will uh, I will hand it over to Achint. Uh, Achint, uh, if yeah. do we? Can, uh, I know I know that the minister has other things to attend to. So, do we require him to continue? Uh, no, or? Uh, thank you, uh, thank you to Mr. Minister. Uh, we'll be doing the press conference uh, with uh, Mr. Masood and uh, Mr. Karthik. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you very much for everybody. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. For all the journalists, uh, uh, please keep messaging the questions on the chat mode of this call, and I'll be directing those questions to Mr. Mesour and uh, and DK. So the first question uh, is from Sarangi, uh, from the Hindu. Uh, it's to both Mr. Mesour and uh, Mr. DK. Are you planning any protocol in the backdrop of uh, racism issues? So can we can we stay on a little bit of uh, topics around uh, around the, the initiative that we have done and I'll be happy to ask the IPL related questions as well. So, yes. uh, so this is a question uh, from Dhiman. Oh, sorry, just go wrong. If you have to look at the positives in this situation, do you think being spared the rigors of an IPL season will, uh, will really help uh, extend your career? Is it for me? Yeah, that's for you DK, sorry. Say that again, Achin. Sorry, I didn't hear that one. Uh, that's from Dhiman. If you have to look at the positives of the situation, uh, do you think do you think uh, being spared the rigors of an IPL season right now will help you extend your career? Uh, I, I I don't think it's a question of my career or anybody <laughs> else's career. I think uh, you know nobody wants these devastations and these uh, catastrophes to happen. I think uh, any day uh, everybody will uh, take the rigors of an IPL season. 
think the word rigors i think is a strong word because uh, i think uh, with challenges uh, come a lot of happiness as well so i'm every every time of the year i'm happy to you know go through a tournament like ipl to all the pressures that's involved in it and uh, that's the beauty of life but definitely uh, i'll take ipl over a catastrophe like what is happening uh, you know not only uh, the covid 19 but also a cyclone ampon i think any day uh, i'll take an ipl over that uh dikan the next question is for you how did you spend your time during the lockdown uh, could you get any training in yes uh, if there is one thing that i've got in is training uh, when i say training not cricket obviously it's got to do a lot with my physical uh, you know gym and running and all those kind of things as much as possible not even running so much actually a more of gym um though yes i've had a you know quiet routine in terms of waking up uh, you know training and then eating food and watching tv and then going back to sleep again this is pretty much been it like most of the people but in between that i have brought i have obviously like a lot of people gotten uh, physical training uh, you know at least for an hour hour and a half every day uh, this is for mr mesur uh, how challenging is it to ensure social distancing norms while carrying out relief work what measures would be taken in this regard this is from tulika from bbc so uh, that's a very important question uh, because you know our natural instinct is to jump in and do whatever we can hand in hand but uh, we also have to keep in mind the protocol and so the ngos that we are working with have given us very detailed uh, standard operating procedures in how they will carry out some of these things our entire team uh, has has uh, reviewed all of these things to ensure that the compliance is is maintained so while our desire is to help uh, we also realize that we'll have to do it in a in a very specific way so it is a little bit more challenging than normal but i think we have all now come to realize the importance of doing it and so it's being followed very rigorously uh the next question is from suvik kundu from one india uh so if the ipl happens without foreign players due to the pandemic how is kkr planning for the tournament and what should be a perfect time to hold this tournament this year this is to mr mesu okay so this question has come up at times and let me just answer this in a different way uh i think it is without doubt that the ipl as a product has become the biggest uh spectacle the biggest product which has caught the imagination not only of india as a country but the world at large and every cricket loving fan around the world when you talk to them they talk about ipl why because the product itself is is a is a high quality marquee type of product and why does that happen it is because of the combination of things that make this phenomenon has made this phenomenon called ipl yes it's indian premier league yes you know it is primarily uh, our indian players who are uh, who are the backbone of uh, any team but i think we should recognize that when you look at even our own team and when you when you look at a sunil narayan when you look at an andre russell and now you know pat cummins you know owen morgan when these four come as a combination to our excellent lineup that we have on the indian side that's what makes this product very very special we can go through team by team and add you know and and discuss along the same lines so one thing that i feel strongly about and we feel strongly about is that we should not tinker with the quality of the product that we have and the quality of the product is what has made it really really special so from a kkr perspective i can tell you and i think majority of the franchises i know there are one or two who have answered it slightly differently but when i talk to them offline they say that they were misquoted but i think it is safe to say that the the collective view is that we have to have the tournament in its full format the same number of games with all the players being part of it and i would hope that uh, whichever window we end up staging the ipl that we'll be in a position to achieve that next question is to dk uh, this is from avinash from michael uh, what are your thoughts on the latest icc guide guidelines the ban on use of saliva will will it make tougher for the bowlers oh yes definitely i think the ban on saliva i think uh, in odis and t20 it won't make much of a difference but definitely in test cricket it's a massive uh, it's going to be a massive uh, you know um, challenge for a lot of the bowlers uh, simply because uh, especially when the ball is new for the first 20 30 overs in most grounds in the world i think uh, conventional swing is what they look for and if you don't apply saliva it's going to be a it's going to be a tough ask for them uh, you know for them to swing a ball great uh, 
the next question is uh, for mr meso uh, and dk both would it be a proper message to say if you win the ipl and it can be dedicated to the cy cyclone affected bengal sir dk go for it you are the opener i think uh, <laughs> uh, i think that would be the least that we could do for the state i think uh, you know we are definitely emotionally very attached to kolkata and uh, i think not only will they be really proud of us i think we'll we'd have brought a lot of uh, happiness back to a lot of people from the state who have gone through a lot in the last couple of months so i think that's the least we could do from our side if we could win an ipl and dedicate it to them uh, no, i would echo i would echo this uh, sentiments expressed by dk that you know when we won the two championships the kind of reception and felicitation that we got in the city was still that will remain etched in our memories and uh, our ability to put a smile on the face of people during these difficult times god willing if we are able to do something like that uh, that will be that will be a massive uh, source of satisfaction for us uh the next question is uh, from sandeep sarkar from abp um, if the ipl is held in october and november uh, do you could be a factor in eastern india in calcutta how challenging would that be um i think there are two parts to the question i think first let's cross the bridge when it comes we don't know uh, you know even if the ipl happens is it going to be like a home and away situation like what it used to be or is it going to be held one one center now there are a lot of variables to this but um, you know even when we play in the months of april may i can tell you that uh, calcutta has a strong amount of dew and uh, you know that's why teams tend to chase a lot uh, in this ground and uh, dew is a factor so it might be a little more i think um, one of the things that will be you know inter i mean one of the things that will be done in practice is to make sure that we we tend to uh, you know do the best that we can with the slightly uh, wet ball as well uh this is sabhi sachi ghosh from kolkata times uh my question is deep for dk and venki mesor what is your initiative for the people who have been distressed in the super cyclone amphan well uh, you know as as we already explained and uh, there is a detailed press release as well but just to summarize what i already said at the beginning of the show uh, that uh, you know we have we have made a a contribution a financial contribution to the chief minister's relief fund uh, we have committed to uh, uh, replanting the number of trees that are lost you know 5000 trees is a big big number beautiful trees in the city of kolkata so somewhere or the other you know the government will give us land and will will uh, through partnerships with some ngos we're going to do that and thirdly the the van today that has been flagged off which is going to places where there are people who have the biggest and the strongest need we are trying to reach them through the van the and 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 uh, ensure that some of the essentials are distributed so these are some of the initiatives apart from what had been done in the past in covid uh, to Now, on covid relief uh, nothing is enough let's face it i mean the the pain and suffering is significant but uh, every drop you know as they say makes the ocean and this is our small contribution and i know there are many others who have contributed and hopefully will continue to do more um thank you everyone thank you everyone for asking the questions and uh, for attending the press conference uh, we will be wrapping this session up uh, thanks for coming here thank you to uh, to our captain dinesh karthik and to our ceo mr mysore and uh, uh, that will be all for the day thank you everyone thank you all thank you so much i know there is a limitation on time in case we missed some of the questions we'll try and get back to you uh, through uh, through achin then sne and others and uh, try and answer some of the questions that might not have got uh, answered here so we had set this to be a certain uh, period of time but i appreciate uh, everyone's uh, uh, attendance and your patience appreciate that thank you very much dk thank you so much for your time uh, really appreciate that and uh, i know we can always count on you whenever we have asked you you never said no so we look forward to your uh, continued support so all the best and we'll we'll talk to you soon thank you so much sir and most importantly the least i can do sir for all the warmth and love that you give me through the year i think the least i can do is come during these times and thanks to everybody who's on this call who was on who were on this call thank you so much for your time and uh, anything please uh, contact me and you know we can uh, get it through thank you so much